praise for amen thank God for our our online ministry our partners that are really literally all over the world literally amen you, you don't know because you only experience the church here but uh, you have to travel you have to see how the word is responding how they was people respond to the word amen and it is literally everywhere amen we are we are very excited amen about what God is doing in this ministry and um, we are really bringing together like-minded people and pastors and stuff so amen how many of y'all enjoyed yourself on the um, St. Louis amen Amen. we had a had a good time amen now I believe according to Galatians 6 and 6 and then you read that don't just hear me say Galatians 6 6 go read it uh, it says that um, that if that 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 if you are instructed in the word then you must share all good things with your instructor I told you I don't I believe in giving by obligation in other words I believe if you receive you give and I believe because you're receiving from this ministry you, you know realize the, that that we've put uh, these free videos on YouTube for years and I've just you know and this video I'm listen we get all around the world this message is blessing people all around the world everybody I mean I, I can't tell you how many calls and emails we get uh, talking about how God is transforming people's lives bringing deliverance and healing and restoration and many people are saying they don't even have a word like that in our city and 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 so um, and which is something else that we're gearing up for to, to do some church planning but anyway um, but uh, if you are receiving from this ministry, the Bible instructs you to share uh, or sow back into what is feeding you. So if I'm feeding you as a pastor, as a man of God, I don't care if you got a church or a pastor, uh, but if you're coming to, to and receiving from our channel and receiving from these videos, which are being provided to you for free, then you are obligated to sow back and share back with this ministry because you are being fed. That's the biblical principle. That's the principle of Galatians 6 and 6. Galatians 6 and 7 goes on to say, uh, don't be deceived. God is not mocked. It's talking about sowing into a man of God. We use that scripture wrong. When, whatever you sow into a man of God, that and that only shall you also reap. If you sow sparingly into who's feeding you, then you're going to reap sparingly. But when you are liberal to those who are sowing the spiritual food into you, then, uh, then, then you will reap a liberal. And so uh, it's very important how you take care of an anointing, how you support the anointing and anointing that's, that's sown into your life. Don't leave. And I'm not just talking about me. Don't ever take men of God for granted. Somebody who is anointed, sowing that word into your life. Don't ever uh, uh, mistreat that or, or take or be common with that or feel that you don't have a part to play in their support. Because the Bible says if I if, if, if I sow into you my carnal, what is it that I reap your if I sow into you my spiritual, what is it that I reap your carnal? In other words, we supposed to have a reciprocating relationship if you come to YouTube and you receiving from those videos then the Bible obligates you to begin to sow to so back to sustain my life if the spiritual word of God is sustaining your life then the Bible says you must share all good things with me meaning your natural things should sustain my life that's how you build a relationship uh, with a man of God and that's how the anointing flows into your life so that's why it's so important for you to uh, to understand obligation giving you know I don't like all of the gimmicks and tricks and playing the games I believe that if you've receiving the word if, if yokes are being destroyed if God is move, removing your burdens and, and, and your life is getting better then that means you're receiving the word the anointed word is breaking the yokes and uh, you have an obligation at that point and uh, believe it or not the every just about everybody that wasn't you was partners just about. There was a lot of partners. No. We have a lot of partners, I'm telling y'all, and I really appreciate our partners. They are awesome, amen. Some of these people have been supporting us from the beginning. First video on YouTube, they've been supporting. So, and uh, God has opened up some, he's opening up some major avenues, amen, for this ministry. I, when I, I, what did I tell y'all? The, this year, remember New Year's, I said, what did I say? I said, this is the year of, I can't remember what it was. What was it? Restoration. Amen. I told somebody else expansion. <laughs> I said expansion. I think I, I think that was the other guy. I was talking to somebody. I said, this is going to be a year of expansion too. 
Amen. Amen. And uh, so we are literally expanding. And we are really, even here, we're looking for a, uh, another building now so we can, because we want to have a building big enough to hold everything that we want to do. And uh, we thank God for sustaining us here in this, this building here. But we, uh, we have to get ready for, I mean, people ask to move here every week, literally. They, they, they call about moving, and we always say, wait a minute, don't, don't just move now. Come visit. And, but I do want to be able to have a hospitality, uh, some hospitality quarters and have our separate children's ministry and our separate youth ministry, and we don't have to overlap in our separate cafe. So we're going we're gonna to be, we're looking now, amen. So y'all be praying about that. But this ministry is being received. Really, really, really being received. Now, I'm saying that because this message is going to be like a straight razor. <laughs> Build you up, make you feel comfortable, then slam the piano on your hand. <laughs> it's time to deal with her. I told y'all about every, what, two, three months. We got the... Got to talk about her. Got to talk about my nemesis, the arch enemy of the man of God. So we're going to be talking about her today. Amen. Um, give my sons them a hand. Amen. Appreciate you. Amen. Thank y'all. Thank y'all, young men. Amen. Amen. I'm really proud of these young men. Amen. And what, what God is doing in their life and I'm having them to travel with me so they can get exposed, exposure, and then also see other cities and realize little Louisville ain't everything. It's not all here. Amen. One of the best things you can do for your children is to get them to travel before they make life decisions. Amen. Before they make life decisions. See, most of us have uh, babies and stuff, so we don't even get a chance. We don't know nothing about the world because now we stuck from from the decisions we made early in life. But getting your children to travel is very important. Let them see other cities, even other countries. All our kids got passports. They, I want them to see other countries, amen, because it's important for them to be exposed to more, amen. Now, um, this message, I'm working on my title. I got my scriptures. I just work. I'm, the title is floating because there's so much to it. But I think I'm going to call it. Also, I want to announce uh, Brother Don and uh, Sister Jan Janika had their ba it was boy, ba baby girl. Amen. Baby. What is her name? Skyler. Skyler. Amen. Praise God. Healthy baby. Amen. That's all we have here. By the grace of God. Healthy baby, amen. And um, we pops them out here. Yes. Yes. See, when it's right and your marriage is set right, you're not afraid to have children. But when, you want, when you're running with the world and you're scared, you won't, you, know, you won't do what the Lord put you here to do. So we believe that uh, we literally take be fruitful and multiply literally. So I'm proud of these brothers. See, this is the reason why churches are dying. Because, first of all, they're not having children. If they are, they have them out of wedlock so the child doesn't grow up in, 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 in grace and holiness and the child go out in the world. And then you sit there with a bunch of old folks that didn't reproduce themselves. And so the church dies because the young cats are gone. So we need to be encouraging that. See, some of these kids have been here as long as this ministry's been here. And now they've grown and still here. He won. It's one right here on camera. Been here that long. That's all of them right there. My sons and daughters. So how many of y'all know we got another generation coming up? Amen. In the church, amen. So that's why you, you, you make sure that you be fruitful in a marriage union. Amen. I'm working on this title. This is going to be a tough title today. I wish I had a PowerPoint so I could show y'all some things. Maybe I might get a picture too. So where about Tim at? Okay. Okay, okay. Now, Turn in your Bibles to Isaiah chapter 3. We're going to start there. Isaiah 
I may call this, whoever's down there in the uh, computer room, write these titles down. I may call this, I might have said this before though, <laughs> some of my titles are running in my mind. I'm, I might call this the, the bride and the whore. That's one title. <laughs> Spiritual prostitution. Second title. Man run. <laughs> Third title. Write those three titles down. Whoever's down there. Brud Till or Brud Don. <laughs> Amen. Because I, you, you know, it, it's, you know, uh, now y- y'all got to give me some grace because I'd already preached it already uh, this week. So I'm already, uh, you know, I'm melancholy. Been on the airplane and, you know, I make you jet lag. And we got back like 12 o'clock last night. So we really been traveling. And uh, I was uh, thinking about now the titles I get. Y'all know me. Y'all, I'm a, I am an observationist. I see things and it sparks dialogue within my spirit <laughs> meaning I begin to ponder on the things that I'm seeing and it's you must admit that we are so far beyond what virtue really look like that it is almost a shame of what we call Christian Christian life, because we have uh, adopted, say adopted, the spirit of the world in their style, their look, their dress, their lifestyle. That a true holiness life is offensive because. We have allowed um, Gucci and Versace and the hip hop wives and the uh, I can you know them. We've allowed that to dictate to us um, what style and fashion and uh, relationship is all about. So truly, we're getting our information from the world and not the Bible. And because we are getting our information from the world, we're starting to reap what the world reaps when they follow the sensual wisdom. Talk back to me. Wisdom has fruit. Say wisdom Wisdom has fruit. fruit. See, the Bible says there are there, there are three types of wisdom. The one we're working with now is sensual wisdom. Meaning appealing to the senses of man. So when we look for spouses and mates with sensual wisdom, we only appeal to the to the emotion or the or or the senses or the flesh. And that's why we're drawing people with our bodies. Instead of the hidden man of the heart. Talk back to me. Because this is the wisdom that is on us and this is why we're reaping now what the world is reaping it should not be in the house of God that we have the same fruit as those that don't know God that is an indictment upon us and so I just believe that if we don't speak to it we won't be convicted enough to change you are supposed to be a follower of Christ Not a follower of trend, a follower of fan, a follower of music, a follower of movies. You are a follower of Christ and you supposed to produce the fruit of Christ. Talk back. So. When I see. Twerking in the house of God. I already showed y'all video of that. Ain't like y'all don't know it exists. When you see. 
club outfits, cleavages and butts. When you see Corey Bonds and, 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 and the dancing elite, prancing elite up here. Most churches have the prancing elite right here. When you see that, you must know we have definitely taken a wrong turn and God's going to judge it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So let's dive a little deep. Now, give me one. Let me see if y'all listen. Give me one of my titles. (laughs) Spiritual prostitution. No, man, run. That's going to be the title, right? That's the title. Y'all hear me? That's the title. Man, run. Because there's such a seducing spirit now. There's a seducing spirit. And not only is it just a seducing with the looks, but they got the action to back up the look. So, man, you got to run. (laughs) Come on, say run. There is no way of safety but running. Trade in your slacks, I mean your flats for some track shoes and learn to run. Ain't going to be no safety, man. Ain't, you are not going to play around with the stuff they got now because this sensual lust is so strong that even those that have been standing for years are getting caught up because it is, the sensuality has become acceptable. Are y'all, are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Now, 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 now I'm going to give you something uh, out of the book of Enoch. Okay, I'm gonna give you some out of the book Enoch. Yes, Enoch is a real book. It alludes to Enoch in Genesis, so we can use Enoch. Actually, Eden, the book of Enoch is what's described in the last days. For some reason, they didn't put that book in, even though the book of Enoch describes the last days, describes what happened in Genesis six, a detailed account of what happened in Genesis six, which the Bible says it'll be just like the days of Noah. Enoch is describing the days of Noah. Yeah, Enoch ain't in there. Enoch is describing the days of Noah in detail. Yet he's not in the book. But the Bible loses Enoch, so he's safe to use. Amen. There's many, uh, uh, there's many con- uh, confirmation scriptures in the Bible about Enoch. Now, the reason I only want to use one scripture because it, 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 it's very important to see this one scripture. Y'all there? Now, you can write it down because the book of Enoch is online if you want to read it. Uh, Enoch 8 and 1 says, Moreover, Azazel. Say Azazel. This was the one this Azazel was the leading fallen angel in Genesis six that led 200 other fallen angels astray to have sex with the daughters of men. And produce, the Bible says, a race of giants. The giants were worshipped as gods. Y'all, y'all got that? The giants were worshipped as gods. This is the giant. That's why if you look at Egypt, you see why the statues were built so big. It wasn't they wouldn't build so big because that was just like they were over exaggerating. You know, the hieroglyphs, the, 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 the kings were built so big, were drawn so big and the people were so little. It wasn't because that's how big they were. They were worshiping giants. They got it from Babylon. Babylon worshiped giants. All co- uh, well, I'll get there now. More of as they taught men. To make swords. Now remember when these fallen angels in Genesis 6 came down and saw having sex with daughters of men, they gave men technology. Forbidden understanding. What they were not supposed, man was not supposed to depend on what he could do himself. He was supposed to depend on the most high, and the most high was supposed to give man what he needed to sustain life. Well, the fallen angels came down and disobeyed God, and they began to have sex with the daughters of men. Then when they began to do that, they began to give men technology, and in exchange for the knowledge, or the, or the, which really was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, in exchange for that knowledge, they had to worship them. The Bible says that the giants that was produced from the women, when men began to worship them, the giants began to uh, get uh, to the point that there, they started turning on men, and they actually started eating men. But these fallen angels taught. Now, if you saw this new uh, movie, the newest story of Noah, that movie that just came uh, it came out a couple years ago, that story was telling you about the Gnostic understanding, making the fallen angels good and the creator God was bad. You got what I'm saying? 
And in that movie, it was saying that the fallen angels were saying that we 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 freed man and gave him knowledge and life and all of these things we gave to man. And the creator God cursed us because we did that. Well, that's true in Enoch. The problem is they're saying the creator God is is bad. And the fallen angels were really good because they gave men all this knowledge and freed men. Y'all got that. Now, can I teach y'all anything today? Now, it says, so so Azazel began to teach men how to make swords and shields and breastplates and fabrication of mirrors and the workmanship of bracelets and ornaments, the use of paint and the beautifying of the eyebrows. So this fallen angel is the one that taught about makeup. See, anytime I see a crazy trend and I have to say, I always say, what's the origin of that? So the fallen angels are the one that taught Revlon and Mary Kay. And it's so fitting that you understand makeup is was used to cover it hides imperfection. It's actually deception. And if you don't believe, oh, I got some pictures. If I could show y'all these pictures. If you, I will show you ugly. And then make up. And it is a lie. And the reason why I'm talking about it is because this when, you know, women have always had makeup, and, it's, and I don't know, and didn't have a problem with that, you know. But this thing now, it's like the closer we get to the last days, it's it's gone beyond. If you see what they spend on this, it's gone beyond makeup to to make believe. And we must ask ourselves, what was the purpose for the fallen angel teaching women about makeup? And men. And men yes. The Egyptians, men wore makeup too. Why y'all think their eyes was what? Y'all doing that now. Why y'all think their eyes was over exaggerated? Smoky eyes. <laughs> because eyes was fitting. The reason why they said eye, and they're talking about makeup, but really it was the eye makeup. Because the Bible says in the New Testament, the eye is the window to the soul. The reason why they taught eye, eyes, uh, because eyes are, uh, um, um, are the place of uh, expressed emotion. You can tell a lot by looking at somebody's eyes. I've often said eyes don't lie. They mouth might lie, but their eyes say something different. So he taught them about eye makeup because eye makeup enhanced a power. Are y'all, are y'all want it? Do y'all want it or not? Because women have a natural power over men. And the fallen angels enhanced the power by By giving her more beauty in the area that seduces men. So all of this eye stuff and makeup was about seduction. It enhances your seduction power. If you don't believe me, look at befores and afters. And you will see that it's not that pretty. So what Satan really is doing is enhancing the sensuality of our women to the point that men almost ain't going to be able to stand it. Are y'all, do y'all understand? Because the goal is to get a man to be captured and seduced out of his power. This is the reason why God told Eve, girl, you got to be uh, you got to come under Adam. He has to become your covering because you got a power that has to be covered. 
by a man that has a license to be with you. There's a man that has a license to partake of you, but he has to have a covenant because if you out there with, with no covering or uncovered, you're going to draw a lot of things to you. Is this now, feminism was designed to remove the covering that protected the woman. And so y'all think that y'all that y'all OK because y'all don't have a covering or you independent. But for some reason, you keep seducing busters and baby daddies and no husbands. Broke cats, liars and cheat. Why? Because you are uncovered. The Bible says the husband is the savior of the body. The, oh. Let's read some scripture. Now, let's read some scripture. Go to Isaiah. Well, now, let's go to Isaiah first. Go to Proverbs 6. No, Proverbs 7 first. We're going to go 7 and then 6. Because I'm trying to show you that every trend and fad ain't for you if you're a woman of God. Don't be jealous of that yakky. Did you know yakky is a yak? You know what a yak is? <laughs> it's a yak. Them, them animals over in Tibet with that long hair. Boy, they would they would kill that animal over there. <laughs> that yak wouldn't have nothing left on his body. <laughs> now, I'm not against it, though. I'm, I'm okay with it. You know, if you need a few pieces and stuff, you know, stuff, I'm okay with it. If you need a little bit, get a little bit. I don't have problem with no beauty. I don't have problem with that. I don't, that don't bother me. What bothers me is when we got to have it and it begins to either enhance or or alter our personality. That 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 if you don't got it, you can't come out without it. That's in your psyche now. That you're not something because you ain't got something. Now I don't envy you, sisters, because I know it is difficult because y'all get judged just completely. Y'all really judge each other the most. Y'all were your own enemy for real, because y'all were judging each other. That's why y'all under pressure all the time. I'm, I'm glad I'm a man. If my stuff start go, start go missing, just shave it off. And we make it a trend. We make it fat. We make it fashionable. You know, shave it off. And but the Bible says a woman's hair is a glory. It's a glory. Amen. Now, let me read something because I want you to see. What well, I say seven? Because I want you to see something. Say man run. Some stuff is just too pretty and you know you ain't you ain't got enough to draw that. <laughs> so that thing was sent. <laughs> verse 7, I mean verse 10, y'all there? And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot. So there is a way whores dress. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There is something you can put on that make me say that's a whore, that's a whore right there. Don't get mad when people call you a whore if you got on whore clothes. Because whores reveal. Because they're selling a product. And, 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 and in order to get you to buy it, I have to reveal a little bit of it, hoping you will, uh, you will see it's good enough to be bought. Talk back to me. We have a generation that, that literally don't feel comfortable unless they dress like whores. Even in the house of God, we have whorish clothes. Stuff that we should never wear in the church. But we don't have a standard anymore. Me and my wife go place the pastor's wife have that stuff on. How can you tell sisters live holy when she got seven eye shadows and, and in vogue dresses? And I said it. See, because we have lost our standard and, 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 and because I'm going to tell you this is where I'm at. Because we are afraid to, to rebuke women. Remember I showed y'all that video them girls were doing that liturgical dance and the girls had slips sewn up to her and, do, and you know just showing all their business in church and nobody rebuked them. 
We are so afraid to rebuke women. And most of these women don't have husbands. So they so they don't understand limits. I said, it. oh, you know what? I'm going to make you mad. I'm, this is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to go ahead. Just open the door so they can run out. Because I'm going to make you mad today. A man helps a woman to know how far to go. That's a man's job. That's why the Bible said the head of the woman is the man. His job is to say, okay, this is as far as we're going. Boundaries. Because without a man, she'll listen to a female and a female will say, girl, you look good, girl. Oh, that's fine. She'll never tell her don't do it. Then you walk out of the house looking crazy and don't and I always say that's just an uncovered woman. This is what feminism has done for you, sisters. It's uncovered y'all to the point that you don't have no wisdom in your life to, to, to stop you. That's why God told Eve, you got to come under Adam. He's going to help because if you was listening to Adam, you wouldn't have talked to the snake. Adam was in the garden, too. He never talked to the snake because men are not moved by what they hear. He was moved by her. When he saw her naked, he was moved. This is why Adam didn't rebuke her. Because what nothing found for Adam to, to, to get a release with. And he was thinking, if I lose this. So he listened to her based upon his own lust. That's why God said, I'm going to judge you because you hearken to the voice of your wife. But why did he hearken? Because of her body. Because of her ability to give him a release. And all men are trapped by that. So the judgment for Adam was to stop listening to his woman and rule over his woman. The judgment for Eve was to come under and submit to Adam. In that union, safety would be there. But when we break that union, the serpent comes in. Is this too much to understand? So feminism was the lie of the serpent in the ear of the woman to tell her that it's something that the man and God is holding back from you. And you need to get this knowledge, girl, so you can rule like them. And that's why we have this. Uh, and then then in America, uh, the Rockefellers founded feminism, paid uh, Gloria Steinem to 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 um, to recruit black women. To go against a man that wasn't even fighting them. Because she was upset, white women were upset that their man was dominating them. We never had power to tell you, you can't work. We never had power to deny you money, job, vote. But feminism taught the black woman that the man, her black man was her problem, was oppressing her like the white woman's man but the white woman's man had power and was in control. So if he's oppressing this woman, it's because he had the power to do it. We can't oppress you because the black man and black woman got their rights at the same time. When the black man the black man wasn't voting before the black woman, so how could a black man tell his woman not to vote? But the white man had the power to vote and told his woman she can't vote. So the, so the white woman said, I don't want to be under my man and I can't do it by myself. I need to recruit some numbers and came over here to the oppressed woman and told her, you're not being oppressed by the white man too, black girl. You're being oppressed by your black man that ain't got nothing. And because the same way Eve listened to the lie of the serpent, y'all listen to that. And the white woman said, we know we can't get the black woman on our side unless we provide the provision to make her not need him. So they came in with welfare and provision so you could not have to come under your man. Now, 50, 50, 56 years later, we see the fruit of that decision. Oh, I'm going to lay this thing like a... So now we sit back now 
And you black women got amnesia. Yeah, they got amnesia. They sit there and look at the thugs and I don't know how they get like that. And I don't I don't understand why it's like that. Why our kids, why our kids can't go to school and just learn? I don't know what's wrong with them. You got amnesia. These no good niggas are just dogs. They just don't want to be men and they got, don't want to don't want to be in a home, just running away from responsibility and get, child support got trapped. You got amnesia. There wasn't nothing wrong with us till you sided with that white woman. And to this day, the enemy of the black man is the white woman. Black women have never accused white men of raping them and falsely. Ain't y'all ever said, what is this epidemic that white women keep accusing black men of raping them false? What, what is their fantasy with the, with the black man? Wasn't nothing wrong with us. We was good. As a matter of fact, before feminism, we had uh, 80% of birth was in wedlock. We didn't have no problem. 80% of birth was in wedlock. So now we have, I call it selective amnesia. We choose to remember what we want. Now see, we remember Willie D. Superfly and pushing man. No, we remember that. We remember how the pimps was pimping the women. We remember that. We don't remember our complicity in that. And I'm just bold enough to tell you because we have produced something that we got to own up to. Is this too much? So your 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 the 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 listen listen listen. Let me fold this on up. I I ain't getting I ain't getting too far. I'm gonna fold it up right here. The the I don't care to to march with Black Lives Matter or immigrants or I don't like going to funerals of thugs that get killed. I don't that doesn't I ain't comforting his mother either. Because I know what the problem is that we don't want to deal with. And the reason why we can't deal with it because we cannot correct this black woman. She's uncorrectable. I said it. Oh, get mad and leave. She's uncorrectable. You don't believe me? Try to correct her. Just try and see what happens. They are like white people. Tell white person they racist, they will deflect on you. No, I just, they, they, no that's not what happened. We, y'all hung the man. No, we didn't hang him because he was black. <laughs> it's like talking to, it's illogical. So when you try to correct them and say, and, 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 and no, no, no. No, I didn't, didn't see it. It wasn't me. It was them. It was it was it was his society. It's, it's, and because we have, cause I'm, t- I'm 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 there. I said, open the doors. Open the door. Let them get. Let them get up out of here. We have. This black woman has not been corrected for fifty years. And that's why y'all number one in HIV. Number one in aborting the babies. Because a white woman is still got y'all. Look at the march. The, the, the woman's march. What is black woman doing in there? That ain't got nothing to do with you. The vilest, nastiest women out there with signs all, all talking about their vagina. What are you out there for? And notice none of them white women march with us when your sons are getting killed. Where was they at? We marched all last summer. Where were they at? I ain't marching for immigrants or Mexicans or nobody. Y'all black women join everybody's calls. And you never ask for reciprocity. When y'all gonna come help us? So I told y'all I ain't for Black Lives Matter for real. I like the slogan. I ain't for the MS. So you know who, who you know who created Black Lives Matter? Three lesbians. That are against fathers. They use the black men getting killed to draw attention to the LGBT. They don't care nothing about no black man. They use that to get attention. They always use us for attention. This is what a society looks like when its women are uncovered. And we out there trying to come up. You know what that solutions. What's the solution? You don't want the solution. Every 
time you talk about this, well, what, what, what are we supposed to do? It, well, it, 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 what was we supposed to do if we ain't got no man? No, you ain't got no man because the men left y'all. See, I was born around. I, I mean, I was living during this. It's hard to lie to a person that's watching it. I saw this. I know the deals that was cut. I know the lies that was told that, you know, I'm, I'm going to get well for it, but you know you can't act like you can't live here. You live, live. I know the deal. And we sold our home for 30 pieces of silver. We sold our home. We sold our children's future for a little bit of provision a day, like food stamps in Section 8. Go on, close it, bro. You close it. They ain't going nowhere. I'm only tell you close it because I felt that cold. Earth, so I don't want to get cold. <laughs> but we sold it. And see what the problem is, is today we have amnesia. I don't know what I don't, I don't understand. And then we look at the little thugs that we've produced and say, I don't know why they're killing each other. I don't know what's wrong with them. They are so violent in Chicago. What's wrong? And nobody sits there and takes the responsibility. All psychological, scientific uh, studies have showed that boys do better with fathers. Amen. All of it shows up. Boys do better with fathers. Boys cannot become men without a man. And for some reason, now, 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 let's go back. Let's let's now, now, let's go deeper. Let's go back to her. The problem that gets me upset is because y'all don't realize that that was a CIA plan. To keep us from ever. See, you got to realize that after slavery, we were the true carpenters. We were the true builders. We were the true farm workers and farm hands. And we we had the labor. White folk didn't work. That's why they wanted you. They knew that if you let these Negroes start working and get, they will take over within a matter of 50 years. So black people left plantations with nothing. Walked out into like 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 Rosebud and uh, 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 Black Wall Street and just start settling a place and with with nothing more than their hands built a uh, 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 infrastructure and banks and airlines and dentistry and all that and didn't have nobody to give them nothing. And they knew that if you leave these people alone, they will literally run this country. So we got to stop them. So they was so they first came out. First thing they was using was what was called eugenics. That's the first thing they use. Let's just kill the Negro. Let's just kill him. That's what. Then they start using sterilization, and then they start using experiments trying to see what syphilis would do to us. They were trying to figure out what virus would kill us off. For some reason this black DNA is just. So they found out that you can't do us like that. You got to do us like Pharaoh. Pharaoh went to the women. See, we can't kill y'all like this straight up. Pharaoh went to the women. So I'll tell you what. If we can get the women to devalue the seed, then she'll kill. But how, why would a woman devalue her seed? Because she's, the woman is, 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 what, is what builds the nation. But why, she won't do that on her own. So we, what, what do we got to do? We got to turn her against the one that planted it. So, but even though through all this abortion, we still moving on. That wasn't enough. They figured out, well, we can't kill them. We can't even board them fast enough. Actually, what we did to them, it came back on our race because we can't even have kids. So, that's what's happening to them. So what we'll do is we will uh, deal more wisely with them. So what they did was they said, if we can't keep them from being born, then we'll kill them economically. So they so so they redlined redlining means uh, caught off parts of the city to make sure that this doesn't this this area don't get loans, make sure there's no economic development. And that and, 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 and now 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 and then white flight, meaning all the white people that had the money in the city ran out to the suburbs 
and left black folk that didn't have no money at first with no jobs and no employment. And then you can't go to the bank to get a loan to get a business to create your own wealth. And that was done by the government. So when we talk about reparations, we're not talking about slavery. I'm talking about what they even did after that. We, we, slavery is one thing. This is stuff. It's systematic what they did after that. And so because of the redlining and the inability to create wealth. Now we have to uh, now we have to do uh, uh, figure out a way to take care of these old poor people who just can't make it for themselves. So they build projects created that was that the ghetto was created because if you don't believe me smoke town was white people lived in smoke town before black people did and it was not a ghetto white people lived there first but when we moved in it became a ghetto why because they it's like choking off the wealth talk back to me so now we got these people we, we don't built the structure to keep them down but it's still but the black but they still can rise because what really causes a people rise is not necessarily uh, uh, it, it's, it, I mean, the, taking their wealth away won't cause them to have community. They still have community. What causes is for people to make it, even statistics, marital statistics say that marriages have more wealth. Marriage was the way of wealth. They knew that. So now, let's say but now we impoverished you, but we're not going to uh, take the responsibility. But we say because you are impoverished and you need our help, the government help, uh, we will give you that help to move into our uh, pre-made uh, 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 boxes of destruction. But uh, but but but, you know, you have to give up what makes family. Now, if that deal came to the black man. Then, you, then y'all should blame us. Would that be fair to say? Yeah. Would that be fair? If they if they called a black man, said black man, listen, you know, we gonna give you some money, but you gotta get rid of that. You gotta get rid of her, but we'll give you the money. If we took that deal, you'd blame us. I said you would blame us, but we didn't take the. They, they didn't come to us because they scared of us. They wouldn't come to us, but they came to our women. That was that was a trick of the white woman to gain you to get you on her side through putting you in a position where you had no covering. No, 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 nobody could object to the conditioning of the white woman making you fight her cause and getting your children in her system. Y'all don't want this. And so the black woman because of her love for provision and security. I said it. Amen. Same same mentality Eve had, thinking if I be wise, I'll be secure. Amen. Bible says she wanted a tree to make one because she wanted to be wise. Wasn't no help in Adam or nothing. She wanted to be wise. Her, her security was in wisdom. Amen. The same way they gave that deal and said, if you do this, we'll give you this. Amen. And without a second thought, because you never thought that the fruit of that decision would be the thugs and, 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 and whores and, 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 and homosexuals and raising lesbians and all. You never thought that's what would be today. And y'all took the deal. And the black man can't say nothing because when we try to correct y'all, say, and then not only did they give y'all, and they knew y'all wouldn't have kept that deal long if they didn't keep putting certain provisions. So now, okay, we got we, we, we to gotta give her power over the children completely. Cause she's not going. She's not going to be for our for for the white woman if she has any if 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 unless we give her total power. So we're paying for her allegiance by giving her power. We're paying for her allegiance. Y'all don't want this by giving her power. So we're gonna give her. We're gonna put it in her head that her body is hers alone. So. Why? Because when the man put his seed in her, we don't want the man to have no control over what she do. So now when a man put his seed in, he has to wait and see if you want to have the baby. You got you can. If you go to the abortion clinic, he can't stop you. 
But if he don't want the baby, you can still have it. He has no power. Feminists can't, the feminists get, made a campaign, child support. Child support is the most evil thing they ever came out with. I said it. It's evil because it's not fair. If it was fair, then we should see what you're spending that money on. Uh, y'all, y'all clapping and don't believe that? Elder Greg, they don't believe that. Because a lot of them, this is her fixing their money. Yeah, this is dealer money. They stay clapping, but they don't believe that. They've been getting over for uh, have multiple babies by multiple brothers and you get multiple. All the time we took away shame. So nobody makes you feel bad about whoring and being back. Your whore is backed up by the government. I said it. Oh, I said it. The government's paying you to hold. A man, if he graduates, he better have a plan. You don't have to have a plan. All you got to do is get pregnant. And the plan kicks in. And the reason why this is gutting you like a fish is because you ain't been corrected in 50 years. Ain't no pastor bold enough to say what I'm saying. But because my source and what I what I get comes from the Lord, I ain't got to count none of you Negroes. You ain't going to change my pocket. And if I don't, and, and, and if everything in my life goes to nothing, me and my wife have learned to live on a low gravy, baby. So we you ain't going to extort me. This is what's going to change. See, we don't try it at all, but we won't correct the woman in charge. We won't correct her. You mothers trained your sons not to correct it, not to see the wrong in it. That's why we got a bunch of men that'll fight another man faster than over the over saying something about a woman and a woman to get mad. Bunch of uh, uh, down low, effeminate, soft, cowardly brothers. Had hey, brothers out there in the woman's march holding tampons and stuff. Who is these men? That's the men that stick you in your back, bruh. Them is them brothers that stick you in the back. Them is the one Jezebel activate to fight you. Y'all don't want this truth today. I warned you. I told you before I said something. I've already preached this week. I did a good job. Let's go deeper. Drifting on a memory. I'm going to make you remember. There's an epidemic that's going uh, unreported on. We look, I looked it up. Because what you see is men, you know, molesting and raping. Don't we see? That's what we see. And it's so sad. Oh, it's so sad. And I agree, brothers need to get what they get. I don't have no sympathy for the brother. But the statistics are saying that the epidemic of molestation, especially females abusing their sons, that's the epidemic. See, the, there's some twistedness going on. Now, this sparked because a girl uploaded a picture on Facebook of her sitting down naked with her, 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 like, boy, about two years old, he's naked, and he's sitting on top of his mama, and they taking a picture. Now, of course you're saying, well, if, well, if a man sat down with his daughter, right. wouldn't he go to, wouldn't it be, right. it would be outrage. Right. But there was no outrage for this. I'm trying to show y'all this system is a feminist system. That only punishes his men and give y'all praise for y'all ratchetness and y'all foolishness. If it was not true, why are women teachers having sex with boys and not going to jail? 
male teacher 40 years. Because there is a spirit that is saying never correct a woman. And without correction, y'all don't know when to stop. You don't know how far to go. This too much for you. Yeah, I thought I'd mess you up. It's one o'clock, so it's almost over. We got chicken downstairs. You will eat that and forget all about what I said. Don't worry about it, baby. You take this cookie, and from the time you walk out and eat it, you will forget all about it. And that's what we want to do. We don't want to remember this. See, children are not the, listen, y'all. Children are so unprotected in our homes. They unprotected. Let's just go ahead and read so I go. 17, Proverbs 17. And behold, there met him a woman with the tar of a harlot and a subtle heart, slick. Let's see what this modern day harlot whore looks like. Let's see her character and behavior. You young brothers should be taking notes. She is loud. That's the sign number one, brothers. She is loud. She get loud. She don't like some of the apartment store. I just get loud. Chicken naked and loud. And stubborn. Can't nobody tell her nothing. That's that's the character of a harlot. Can't tell her nothing. Her feet abide not in her own house. Always out. Have y'all ever thought, how is these hip hop whores and, and chip and Atlanta whore wives, how are they always out? They got kids. Why are you always out? Child at daycare in the morning, pick them up, take them to daycare at night. Then grandmama watch them through overnight. So you can always be out. See, this is how you know. Y'all taking notes? Mental picture what I'm telling you. She's loud. I wish I had my picture so I could show y'all, give y'all some illustrations. <laughs> she does this. <laughs> she got to talk and clap at the same time. That's her. Because nobody's correcting it. You young girls, don't don't go that way. Amen. Don't go that way. It may look you, you you may see the older women doing it. They may get attention, but it's bad attention. Amen. That's why they always plotting against at work. They plot against this chick all the time. She come home always. They always mess with me because they don't like you. Cause you loud. They scared to tell you something. Cause you can't be corrected. Can't be corrected. So instead of them just coming telling you straight up, they say, let's just plot. Let's just play in. So they start messing with stuff on your desk. <laughs> See, they start telling Sue about get her to get her to stay late. See, they messing with you because they want you to quit. Because you lie out and stubborn. Now she is without, now in the streets. See, you brothers looking for a good woman. Don't look for her in the streets. She's in the club and Always out at the block party and she stay down at the park and all that man. She's she's out in the streets. She smell like outside. <laughs> Your mom ever tell you, that? boy, you smell like outside. <laughs> she's out so much she just smell like outside. Now she is without in the streets and lieth in wait at every corner. 
Now, you know, if men were doing what women are doing, hunting down these basketball players and, and, and you know, what they call it now, they call it something. Uh, no, they call it a, a, a ball alert. Well, these women call each other and say, you know, a dude's in the club right now. So they can go and put their lust stuff on so they can catch a brother to get pregnant by him so they can have a child support for life. I said it. Now, if men was doing that, they would be saying, what's well, something wrong with us. But because y'all raising these many feminine, it's coming. It's coming. Y'all get mad when y'all heard about them brother like Britney Spears, uh, old, old dusty uh, uh, baby daddy. <laughs> Made her pay him. Yes, sir. What's good for the goose? Now, now, she's out in the street and she lied and wait. See, some of you brothers don't realize this. She was lying and wait. No, you coming down this path today. No, you are coming to this. To, do you come to he come to work this way? Don't be no repair man or no UPS work. Oh Lord, I I be firm for them brothers. She only got a package so you can come over. Answer the door with Victoria's Secret on. That's how y'all get caught. You don't know her ways. So she called him because he didn't know her ways <clears throat> and kissed him. Shouldn't be kissing nothing that you ain't married to. <clears throat> with an impudent face said unto him, I have peace offerings with me this day and I have paid my vows. Got a little bread. Got something to drink. Therefore came forth I to meet thee diligently to, to seek that face. Because see, I was looking for you. I'm looking for you. And found thee. I've decked my bed. You know, to smell good on the bed. The silk sheets of the uh, talk. Y'all don't want to talk. Amen. Got you, brothers. Candles lit. You ought to ask yourself, why is this? Why you got this porno set? <laughs> this is a porno set. That ought to be a red flag. But you know what? We caught. So we looking at what we going to get. Ain't even thought about what? what why would a woman have? Why would she have handcuffs? And what? Why, why is the why she got black? The bed is black. And what was you see? You done walked into a witch's den because you don't know what a harlot look like because your mama bed look like that. That's why you don't see nothing wrong with it because you learned it at home. I said it. You want to you want to walk in the country breeze. You shouldn't be walking in there. But if it, if it's your wife, your bed ought to have country breezes and flowers and happy times instead of walking in B and D and sadomasochism sets. That's what y'all into. How many of y'all Christian women read Fifty Shades of Grey? Or watched it? They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to talk about this stuff. What you doing watching, reading and watching Fifty Shades of Grey? And the Fifty Shades Darker. What you doing? Can we talk or not talk? I'm almost, I'm, I'm really done now. I can just, you know, I want a piece of chicken myself. I'm, I'm done. I'm going to read this and I'll be done. You, you got to roll, I understand. Uh, so she caught him, kissed him, and said, Peace off. I've decked my bed with tapestries and carved works with fine linens of Egypt. I perfume my bed with the myrrh and the aloes. And, and now let's come and take our fill of love. love. <laughs> fill of love. <laughs> to the morning. Let us solace ourselves with love for the good man. You know, my, 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 my man, he is not at home, he's at work. He had taken a bag of money. He ain't coming back. <laughs> with her much first speech, with her much first speech, with her much first speech, she, 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 she called him to yield with flattering lips. She forced him. He goeth after her straightway. You brothers know what that mean. Y'all know what that mean. As an ox to the slaughter, as a fool to correction of his thoughts, till a dart strike through his liver. He ain't going to wake up till a dart hit him. Woo! Till he lose his job or he get caught by his woman and lose it all. Or he end up down there in child support in debt. He, then a dart, that's when the dart, dart hits you when the judge say, now you owe us 10 grand. And the dart. 
you're caught. As a bird hastes to the snare and know it not that it is for his life. He don't know he's ready to die. He's dying for the sex. Hearken unto me now, therefore, O ye children, attend to the words of my mouth. Let thy heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her paths, for she hath cast down many wounded. Yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. Say death. death. Jump back, Pro- Proverbs 17, real quick. I'm not, not 17, 625. Come on, go, go now, go now so I can get you out. 625, you ain't getting saved off this. You know, you don't even want salvation. You want to go now. You want to go. 25. Lust not after her beauty in thy heart. Don't get caught up in this eye stuff, makeup and short dresses and, 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 and yoga booty pants and all that. Don't get caught up in that because it's it might look like it on the outside, but inside it's a just a gate to hell. It's a gate to hell, brothers. Neither let her take thee with her eyelids. That's why I started talking about the eyes, because there's something about that eye where y'all seduce brothers. When they drop their eye on you, brother, you got to be careful, because now she got six inch eyelashes and she start fluttering that stuff on you. And she dropped down. She dropped. She, you know, I, I, I'm not sure. How, I, I, don't, I, can't, I can't see myself, but I know what it looks like. They drop that eye. <laughs> He's out there like a uh, Urkel. This. He ain't going this hard or nothing. He, just, he out there don't realize she got you. That's what the eyes, that's what the eye, that's what the makeup was for. It's to allure, to catch you with the eye. See? That's why I make sure I'm, 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 I, ain't, I ain't looking at you. I don't even want them kind of women to think I'm looking at them. That's why they look at you to see if you're looking at them. They're trying to catch your eyes. If, you, if she catch your eyes, she can get you. Because they're seducing spirits in them eyes. Oh, I ain't going to say that. Lord, no, I ain't going to say it. I ain't going to say it. No, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. All right, come on, come on, come on. For by a whorish woman, a man is brought to a peace of of bread. A whorish woman will reduce your life to the cost wow. of a slice of bread. That's now that's why y'all lose all y'all stuff in adultery. And the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. Hunting brothers. Can a man take fire? See if you're watching and looking at her. Can a man take fire in his bosom and not be burned? That means can you sit there watching and being aroused? And not partake of an opportunity. That's why she dressed like that at work, brother. Because you there. That's why your woman should come to the job. And I'm, oh, I wish I had this video. Oh, it's a video I had. Well, I don't know what the video was about. But I saw the, the girl was sitting by her man. And, and this other girl, was beautiful girl, was walking up and trying to walk to her man. The girl did. They called a... They call the girl Boot Bay. Like, and the girl looked at her like, because the girl was switching up on her man. She's like, yeah, take, take your woman to, the, to work. So you brothers, how did she get the man flattery? You brothers be flattered because they batting their eyes at y'all think y'all some man. She's after something. So if you bad, then take your woman. Say, come on, babe, I want you look at, I'm, I'm telling you, go come look at this. Your woman know, because she done it before. She was that before. That's how they know. Can a man take out his wood and his clothes and not be burned? Can one go upon hot coals and his feet not be burned? That's what lust feel like. When you arouse lust, man, it's fire. So he that goeth into his neighbor's wife, whosoever toucheth her shall not be innocent. I'm done. Second Timothy, I'm done. We got to break this. Amen. Come on. We got to break this harlot spirit. Amen. This horror spirit. Now see, the feminist mind says, well, why aren't you talking about the brothers? I am. I'm telling them to stay away from you. 
I'm telling them. Ain't nobody ever told them that. That's what you want your sons to hear. So they try to shoot for something higher. I'm trying to get my son, man, shoot for something higher. You got a good mom. Look at your mom. Shoot for that. Are y'all there? Second Timothy 2 9. This is what you're shooting for. This is what you want. This is what you want to see. This is what you sisters should be modeling, and this is what you brothers should be wanting to see in a woman. In like manner, also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Modest. If I translate it, I'll say covered. Man. Keep yourself covered. Amen. Don't show brothers everything. Are y'all there? Did I read the wrong scripture? First, 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 first. Second Timothy. First, first, first. I'm saying Second Timothy. Am I reading the wrong thing? Yeah. Is it two nine? First, first, first. So let's just read two and nine. <laughs> Can we just read two and nine? Okay. How did y'all know I was reading First Timothy two and nine? Well, then why didn't you just go <laughs> to the other one? All right. In like manner that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with what? Shamefaced it is. What does that mean? What does that mean to be shamefaced? No, it means humility. Humility. Have you now have you ever seen a humble woman and when a man come around, she looks away or she looks down and she she don't look because she understands. That I'm not trying to catch you. I don't want you lusting after me. Everything I have is in the man called Christ. And if you ain't the man he sent, ain't no need in me awakening nothing in us. And sobriety, not with braided hair. I mean, you can't braid your hair. This means don't let that be that. Don't let that be a sign of your humility or gold or pearls or costly array. Don't let that be what causes you to to be a good woman the, the outside the material stuff but which but but which but which becoming women professing godliness with good works so brothers you're looking for women that it's not all about their outside but it's about how they serve others matter of fact the bible says when 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 Isaac uh, was looking for, for I mean, when, uh, uh, when Abraham was looking for, I mean, Rebecca was looking for a wife for Isaac. No, when Abraham was looking for a wife for Isaac, he told his servant what type of woman to get. A servant type of woman, a woman that would serve. And when the servant came upon Rebecca, immediately she said, let me give some water to your, to your, to your camels. She was a serving woman. And that servant a woman that was served is a virtuous woman. If, a, if, if, if all she wants to do is be served, then she's a woman that's looking to take. That's why I told, I think that's what was fitting to talk about to her in the clothes because if you marry a woman like that, she's so high maintenance, you'll be broke. That's high maintenance. I'm not in your life to make you no Bobby doll. We got bills. And so it's very important. This I'm talking to our young brothers. I don't know. I don't know who you, y'all came because y'all wanted to see it, but I'm talking to them. You want a woman who fears the Lord and that does not and, and, and has died to her old way of catching men with her body. Now, you might have been Horace. We all was. I was a Horace brother. I ain't lying. I ain't like I wasn't that way, too. But the Bible says old things pass away. We should have a new life in a new way. And we should not be using that stuff we use in the world now that we in Christ. Amen. We should be living like we in Christ. Amen. Say amen. amen. We've all made these mistakes. All of us. Just about. Amen. Why? I didn't have wisdom. Nobody told me what I was doing was wrong. Amen. Nobody even shamed me for the wrong I was doing. Matter of fact, people applauded it. Amen. Gave me a baby shower for it. Amen. Instead of saying, no, you need to not do that no more. 
And so we've all messed up. That's why we have Christ Amen. to ask for forgiveness. Come on, say ask for, ask for forgiveness. That's what we do. When we convicted, we ask for forgiveness. When we do wrong, we ask for forgiveness. Never stop asking for forgiveness. Because when you stop asking for forgiveness, you think it's right. I don't care if you fall a hundred times, get up and ask for forgiveness. Stand on your feet. Amen. I don't think we're going to have salvation today. If you're not saved, I've seen most of y'all before, so you said the prayer before. Today was a day of gutting and cutting because we got to bring change. But I'm talking, I'm really preaching to my sons then because I take them with me. And I, 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 because I'm a pastor, I go to churches in different places and I, I introduce them as my sons. And it's very attractive to be a pastor's son, if it's a good pastor anyway. And I want them to know every girl running up in their face, you know, how to check her fruit. And not her body, but her fruit. So that they don't get caught up. Because once they get caught up, they're going to think it's good. See, once they get caught up. And so they are my legacy. That's why the Bible talks about in Proverbs, the wisdom, the mother. Did you know Solomon uh, was being uh, was being taught by the mother? His son, he, his mother gave him all that wisdom about women. Most of this stuff about I read was his mother talking to him about women. Y'all thought it was a man. His mother was telling him. His mother was she's talking about the way of women. She was teaching her son. So you as a female, you can teach your boy about the best. You know how you can teach him? Teach him what you did. Teach him how you are so he'll know when he's being seduced. How to say no to that. Teach him to look for substance over flesh. That if she's showing y'all a body, son, that's all she got. Ain't nothing else, and she ain't got nothing else to offer. You want a woman who understands modesty. Make you have to use your imagination. That's intriguing to men when they can't see it all. That's good, because that's when the brother got to use my. He's looking at you now, not at everything popping out. Don't compete with these girls out here twerking. Don't compete with their yoga pants. Let them have it. Girl, hey, girl, 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 back. Girl, have it. You keep yourself dressed nice, looking nice and modest, and have the attitude to go along with it, and you will get a good brother who wants you for life. And not a jump off because you put it out there. And those of you all who might have been whores like me, you can change that by modest life now. Change how you how you dress, change how you operate. And the Lord will send you a good brother that will love you for you. And help you heal through all of your pain and stuff you went through with other brothers. Good brothers do that. All good brothers do that. They'll cover you to the point that you can get healed. But if you keep on trying to hook up yourself how you've always done it, you're going to get what you've always got. Amen. At some point, you got to let the Lord have his way. Amen. Say amen. amen. So I don't know what else to say. So be blessed. Amen. amen. Be blessed. Y'all can sit down. I'm done. <laughs> if I gave out the call, y'all wouldn't come. If I said come to the altar, well, y'all might come, but most of y'all won't come because this ain't no altar call message. Take the information and change. Amen. If you got somebody in your life you ain't married to, make a decision today. Amen. Stop playing around with it. Stop playing with that. He ain't going to marry you if you keep on just giving in to it. Take a stand. Amen. Take a stand. Say amen. amen. Take a stand. Say take a stand. Take stand. That means if, if I'm worth it, then let's Go to the next level. Let's not keep sitting here in this. This ain't going to make us be together no more if we just keep on doing this. We need to make a choice. Buy rings. Let's talk about getting this thing right before God. How is it that I've been with you a year? I've already had sex with you, so you mean I don't know if I want to marry you? I'm already with you. What am I waiting on? I must not think you're good enough. You're already doing it, so what, what, what are you going to do? Hook it up. 
hook it up. Well, I ain't for sure, but you for sure enough to give a person your body? But you ain't for sure if he's supposed to bury you? Are you out your mind? You giving up what he's supposed to get in marriage. Now you're going to marry me and the baby don't mean we're going to get married. Amen. Say amen. amen. Say virtue. virtue. That's, what, that's what your sisters want. Say honor. honor. That's what your brothers want. Honor. And you can get it back even if you messed it up. You can get it back. In Christ, all old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. Say amen. Hallelujah. All right. Are y'all, are y'all doing an offering? Are y'all, did, y'all already done an offering? All right. Let's take up an offering this morning. Amen. 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 Lord, it's late. It's late. It's late. I'm hoping we have more marriages this year than last year. I'm hoping. Y'all be surprised how many preachers do not preach about marriage. Don't talk nothing about relationships. That's why people can't stay together. If you got it, if you got your offer ready, stand on your feet. Don't forget next week. Is that right? This Friday and Saturday. Uh, we're going to be in Baltimore at our Baltimore conference. Amen. Um, I don't know who I was going, but I appreciate y'all for coming to St. Louis. Amen. I really do appreciate that. Amen. I think we need, I think you need to get away with your brothers and sisters and, you know, mesh his family, church family. Amen. That was good. Amen. Um, but, uh, I know me and my wife, my sons and a few others are going to be in Baltimore for our Baltimore conference. And if you feel led to be a part of that or come out, amen, don't forget. We'd love to have you come out and be praying for us. Amen. Be praying for us. Amen. That the Lord will show up and bless, deliver, heal, and set free. Amen. Amen. All right. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to give. We give in faith, trusting you. In Christ Jesus' holy name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on and give. Come on. Don't forget, we're, going, we're doing the first fruits up for, the, for the land. Amen. I don't hear amen. 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 So put your first fruit.